Welcome back, guys. At the end of the last episode, we just scanned an anomaly, and we got an extra couple of texts from that. We got uh, biome engineering. Farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome, which is pretty damn good. And we also got deep scanning. Sectors can now be scanned again for deep deposits. Exploiting these deposits requires additional technologies. Um, I think we want to get that done sooner rather than later. Don't you think? So we'll um, we'll finish dome bioscaping and then we'll do that one. Uh, uh, no, you know what? I want to do the rover AI first because uh, I've got a, I've got a reason for wanting the rover to be um, um, to not need recharging. So then we'll do the sustainable architecture and then we'll do the battery optimization. I guess yeah, yeah yeah that works that works I think right so close. Uh, what next? Now, at the end of the last episode, we also had a breakdown of our RC transport. Poor thing. Look at it. Stranded out there, covered in dust. It got hit by um, a dust devil, which took it out. So we're going to uh, we're gonna have to send something to, to fix it. Um, let's, get, let's get another anomaly being uncovered first. So let's send you over there to do that one. And then let's grab our RC rover. And... Uh, yeah, you need some power. Let's get you sent over there to get some power. Um, now, uh, rockets. This rocket is full. It's full of fuel and it's uh, full of uh, metals to export. So we'll get that to launch. I'm going to wait until that gets back to Earth before I send another rocket. Because I'm going to send another cargo rocket. And I'm going to stock up primarily on machine parts. Uh, but I'll, add to, I'll throw in some, some polymers and electronics, no doubt. And the reason that I want to do that is that we've only got like one, two, three, four anomalies here. I want to put another tunnel over on this side uh, so that we can we can start getting the anomalies that crop up on, on this side uh, to, to speed up our, our technology. Oh, man, so much to do. What are you, are you guys liking this? I think you are. I've judged you by the comments. You guys are liking this. And I, I tell you what, I, I was a little bit worried when I first started playing the game. I was like, mm, is this going to be that? But you know what? It's, it's pretty darned awesome. Now, I have noticed that over here, this thing isn't getting built. We, we're seeing this icon and I don't know why. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm just going to try replacing it and see if that works. It's exactly the same range as that one. So if that one got built, that one should anomaly get built. It's analyzed. weird. Okay, we've got a new There's anomaly analyzed. There's more analyzed. to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. And this really is a veritable treasure trove. Five new techs, including CO2 jet propulsion. That is huge. Deep metal extraction, low G engineering, microgravity medicine, support, uh, supportive community. The low G engineering, that's our next dome. Now, if any of you were wondering, kind of like, is that it? Is there just like one dome and that's it? No, no, no. There are lots of domes and some of them are freaking huge. And we've just got access to the next one, the medium dome. Now, somebody was, um, somebody left a comment and was saying, oh, um, number, like number seven, Slot seven up here is the medium dome. No, these are random. Uh, every playthrough, they'll be in a different order. So, yeah, yeah, as Sim simple as that. Um, deep metal extraction. Ooh, we can start building stuff to exploit deep uh, and rare metal deposits. That would be very cool. This is the CO2 jet propulsion. Now, this is the shuttle hub. This allows you to have... Um, flying shuttles that will distribute they're like flying drones they'll they'll distribute your supplies around the, uh, around um between uh, between long distances so if you've got like, multiple bases around around scattered around the map you can build these and they'll sh they'll shuttle stuff around um uh, it's actually like a pretty big deal it's kind of like the next big step forward this microgravity medicine medicine this is a spire building so it allows us to build a, a medical center this goes in the center of a dome has a larger capacity and is more effective than the infirmary. Uh, I I don't think we're going to be rushing to, to get that, to be honest. Right, let's get back. Let's get some more stuff. So are you going to get done? Have we have we charged the... <laughs> there's so many things to keep an eye on. Let's go back to the RC Rover. Are you charged? Yes, you're charged. Okay, I want to send you 
Uh, I want to send you up here to rescue... Where is it? To rescue this. So let's send you up there. Okay, good. Oh, man. Um, right, I, I think we can... Yeah, I think we can just let it run now. Rocket is 12% of the way home. That's good. Is this getting done? Yes, they're emptying this now. So I think it's getting... I don't know why that wasn't getting built before. I think just a little, a little glitchette, maybe. Now, people have been um, <laughs> asking me to uh, to put in... Where are we? Let's go to storage. Now, go to storage. Uh, they've been asking me to put in these dumping sites. Um, and to be honest, like, all you're doing is moving it. Moving all this waste rock from one place to another. Now, will I do it eventually? Yeah, I will eventually. But there's no point doing it now, right? And, and if, it's, if it's offending certain people's eyes, well, shut your eyes then. Because, <laughs> you know, get used to it. It is what it is. Right, let's go and see if have we... Oh, there's the lights are on. It's working again. Hooray. That's good news. Okay, I'm going to send the rover up here to about there. And then I'm going to put in a metals depot. Let's put in a metal depot there. Go. Now, how are you for power? Oh, you're fine for power. You're good. Okay. In that case, I'm going to send you... While that's doing Sector that, scanned. I'm going to send you up. Yeah, I'm going to send you up here. Go and, go and load up. We're going to start bringing some metals in. Now, Dust because I've put this approaching. depot in here, the uh, the drones from the RC rover will go out and they'll bring in any metal and just dump it on there. And then what we can do is we can get the, the transport to ship it in bulk back to base, which is probably a fairly efficient way of doing it. So we'll do that. Yeah, there's a fair amount around here to bring in. I could do the same thing up here as well. And who knows, I might because we do need some metals. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to start mining some metals. So it's going to require us putting a, a mine in down here. I mean, I suppose I could get the thing set up. What do we think? Should, should, we, should we do it? Metals extractor. We need um, five Cable machine reported. parts. Pipe leak reported. Um, let's see. So I, I think we'd want to put it like there. That should work. Should I put that in? I can always turn it off, can't I? Yeah, go on. Let's put it in. What the hell? Let's have it ready to go. Where's our explorer? Pipe leak reported. Oh, you've, I, I need to send you on to the next one. And uh, go and do that. Now, it's just going to get us research points. We're okay on power at the moment. We've got a dust storm, which is going to last a day and a half. Oh, uh, which has just turned off our moxies. And how much oxygen have we got built up? Let's have a look on here. We have got oxygen stored 35. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to be having a bit of an issue again. Uh, we, def we definitely need another moxie. Like, we really need another moxie. So I get another moxie built? I, I think it would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's get another Moxie built. So what do we want? We want life support. We want... Where are you? There we go, Moxie. Uh, where am I going to put you? I'm thinking Anomaly of putting it analyzed. here. I mean, I could put it, like, over here. Um, you know, maybe that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. oxygen shortage. God, what a surprise. Uh, let's put you in... Yeah, let's put you in there. What the hell? Let's get that built. I think these tanks are actually enough for for what we've got at the moment. But we'll see. Ah, look, that's got built. I mean, I've put it back in exactly the same place. Funding and now received. it's got built. Weird. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got our spaceship back. We've received 660 million. So we can now do a resupply mission. We've got like 1.4 billion to spend. Wow. Do I maybe want to get some more electronics? No. We'll just do it. I think we'll just do it that way. Launch. We've got 23 electronics. I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm pretty sure I need electronics to do uh, drones. Right, drone printing. Drone printing. This is going to be in production. Uh, drone assembler. 
here we go. It produces drones prefabs that, that can then be used um, to order new drones in drone hubs, multiplying the uh, obedient workforce of the colony. Probably not. Probably not a threat to humans. <laughs> I like Havenmont. Do have a really good sense of humour. I do like Havenmont games. Uh, where, now, where the hell are we going to put this? Um, now, this requires workers. I'm, I'm thinking that's. Uh, yeah, that's got to be the front. Let's put the front near this entrance here. Yeah. Let's put you in there. There you go. Go. So we need 10 electronics for that. Good lord. We might have to step up electronics production. I only got like two people working in, in there. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we're going to have to step up the old accommodation. Now let's see. Uh, how's comfort? Average comfort, look at that, it's gone up to 64. Very good, very good. We actually need to increase our sector food. Our scan. food's actually dropping Anomaly slightly. Found. Select a sector to scan. Resources are low. Okay, so we've run out of sectors. Oh, we've got two new anomalies just found over here. So yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to get more. So definitely, I want to get that tunnel in um, sooner rather than later, so we can start exploring those. I wanted to go to the explorer and get the next. Yeah, let's do that unlock. Yeah, let's get that going first. Uh, we need some more sectors to scan we'll that one. Then we'll do that, 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 that. There we go. We'll work our way up. Okay, so that's that done. Oh, man. So we've still got the dust storm. We know about that. We know we've got no oxygen. Uh, we've done that. We've got the new anomalies. We've set that. And resources are low. Well, that's no surprise. Resources are always low. We're down to nine machine parts, but we've got a rocket on the way with loads. So we should be fine. Okay, we have now got our drone assembler. Right, okay, I don't want this running. I don't want an evening shift. That's for darn certain. Now, what do we need? We need electronics. Battery low. Ooh. You got a low battery. Uh, do I pull you back? Yeah, I think I probably do. Let's bring you let's bring you back and get you charged up before something goes badly wrong. Go over there. So he's going to get charged up. Let's go up here. Let's get some of this metal brought in. So, I want you... Uh, oh, that's the RC rover. Where's the transport? Okay, so we want the transport to come all the way back. Actually, oh, now what I can do, I can get the transport to dump the metals on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it that way. So Research dump the metals complete. on there. Um, the RC rover I can actually send up here. Uh, let's let's get you up here. Let's put in a storage. And let's see. Yeah, let's put in a storage up here. Probably about there would be good. Because we're, we're down to like 89 metals. We're pretty low on metals. Now, what's your radius? Okay, let's move you. Okay, so that's in range. So they can go and get that. They can get this. And then we can probably move out this way a bit and get some more. Uh, that's metals. Is that me that's metal as well? That isn't. Cable fault reported. Okay. Uh, now that this has unloaded all of this metal onto here, what we can do is we can set up a route and we can say, load up metals and transfer them to, look, we're almost out of metal here. Transfer it to there. Wow, okay, um, yeah, <laughs> we need we need this working, I think. So let's get uh, a cable install. Um, let's just run it out like that, what the hell? I think that'll probably look the best. And then we can start producing a little bit of metal. That would be good. How are we doing in terms of this? Um, we can go down to a single shift here because we've produced enough uh, metal to, to satisfy our contract or our evaluation. We need 100 shipped by um, Sol 66. And I think we've already shipped. I think we've already shipped enough, but we'll, we'll ship another rocket, rocket load. We've already got 21 in stock. So we'll, we'll have a full rocket load pretty soon. Um, I shut this down. Yeah, I was going to say I shut that down. No. 
Have you run out? Yeah, it's depleted. Idle buildings. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Man, um, okay, you have recharged. Let's get you up here scanning again. So come up here. Where's the next anomaly? Uh, it's this one over here, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Let's do that one. Whew. It's busy, busy, busy. I, I do like this game. A lot of the micromanagement in games tends to be like really, really annoying. And I have to say that I, there are times when I wish that I could just say, you know, just automate this. Um, but there's kind of enough automa automation that if you're, if you're relatively organized, uh, pause. If you're relatively organized, you, you can kind of take some of the micromanagement out of it. It's like this. The, the, the drones are doing the, the mining. I've got the transport running backwards and forwards automatically. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's livable with. It's livable with. Let's put it that way. So we've got, let's say we've got 24 there. So we're, we're, we're back over 100 metals. I do like to have at least 100 metals in stock all the time. Where are we going to get some more concrete from? Now, uh, man, 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 man. There's, a, there's like a little bit of concrete there. We could put in another concrete thing over here, which is an idea. Uh, we could put in one here. I think that's actually what we're going to do, you know. So let's remove that. Let's go to salvage. And let's remove this cable. And that little bit there. Go. I might get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that little bit as well. don't know why that's there. Okay, pause. Um, so, concrete. Let's go to production and concrete extractor. Let's turn you around. Now, what's going to be the best kind of way? It's probably going to be like that, isn't it? Yeah. That'll do. Dig that out. There's some other bits we can dig out if we're desperate. So I need a, uh, I need a cable for that. So can I run it in from there? Yes, I can. Actually, I could have run it to there. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not going to fuss. I'm not going to fuss. I'm not going to fuss. I, I would like to fuss because I'm starting to fall in love with my base. Cable fault reported. Uh, let's go up here. Sector scan. Pause. Uh, I want to get a bit more power going on. Let's remove you. Remove you. Remove you. And we'll get... Uh, we'll get some more wind power going on. Let's see. I've got... I've only got four machine parts though, so I need to get this rocket landed. Let's get this rocket in here. So, uh, yes, let's, uh, let's land on this pad over here. Uh, there. Boom. Down you come. Bring us all that cool stuff that we desperately, desperately need. Okay. So we've got rid of those. We can now put in our new wind turbines. So, um... It's going to be there, there, and there. Okay. So we've got that sorted out. Now this, I don't think we actually, do, like, do we really want metals there? I don't think we want metals there. So I think we'll get rid of that. Um, the reason I had metals over here originally was primarily because these solar panels require metals. For, for maintenance, so having that close by was a good thing. But now that we've now that we've got these, there's kind of not really any point. But what I probably should do is maybe put a universal over here, maybe on this side, so that we've got the parts for this close by. I don't know. I mean, they're not that far away. I mean, we've got we've got depots here with with the parts. I don't know. I'll think about that. Right. So we're unloading our stuff now. Drones. Uh, let's get some drones queued up. So you, you, you have to click on this to add drones. So now that we've got the electronics that they've arrived, we, we'll have one, two, three, four. Let's key up, what, five? We've got 28 electronics. Um, five. Yeah, let's, let's just have five queued up for now. They, they do take a while to get built, to be fair. 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, now, the problem is that, of course, that's taken two workers away from other things. So we're going to have to be kind of careful that we're, we're keeping up with everything. Now, we've got a nice stack of polymers. We've got a nice stack of machine parts. We can seriously think about putting that other tunnel in over here. We've got enough machine parts to do it. It's going to be a lot of shipping stuff around, though. A little bit of a little bit of a nightmare, but I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of in two minds. Like part of me says, "Yeah, put a tunnel in," but part of me says, um, "You know, maybe I should just start another base over here." But no, I think I think I'm going to go the tunnel route. Um, Explorer, have you finished? You have finished, haven't you? Where are you? Yes, you finished. Right, go, go do that one next. There we go. Now, what's our transport doing? Our transport is sitting here, have, not doing anything. So, come up here. So, you finished moving these metals from here. Okay, what I want you to do now is move the metals from here. So, I want to set up a route to move the metals from this one, oh, metals, to that one. Okay, and then what we're going to do is get our rover moved a bit further across. Um, come on, rover. Oh, it's malfunctioned. The explorer oh. made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but couldn't find anything unusual. Okay, that is a nightmare. Uh, the, the explorer made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but couldn't find anything unusual. Regrettably, it appears that the unusual readings were just a sensor glitch. Or were they? Oh, okay. Is this the beginning of the mystery? I don't know. I don't know, it, but it could be. We haven't come across the, the mystery yet. And that's it. We're done. So, yeah, we, we really need to do, get this tunnel going. But we're, we're, we've got a real problem. Because our RC rover has died... And I don't think we can repair it. It can zoom out, damn it. It won't always zoom out. Let's go to the map view. Um, where are you? You're up here, aren't you? Uh, yeah. And the, the drones are out of power and won't recharge and won't fix Sector it. Scanned. So we need another, another way of repairing that. Oh, God. Okay, that's a problem. That's genuinely a real problem. Well, after giving this some thought, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate my plans to uh, to get a base set up up here. Because I, I really want to exploit these, um, these metals up here. So let's plan this out. And this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be fun. So we would want a dome up here. Um, and we would want it like in between these three metal deposits. So we'd want it probably there. Uh, that's pretty much even between them, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, while I think about it, I, somebody asked about uh, the, the domes because they were saying they wa they'd watch somebody else and they haven't got these uh, kind of metal struts. If you click on a dome and you go down uh, to uh, change skin, right? As well as changing these paths, which you'll see, you can have it like that with kind of like a, a tarmac color and then pavements on the side, or you can have it kind of like that, which is just a plane path. But if you have this plane path, if I click off, you get a plane dome, right? And then if I change it back, you get the uh, you get all this, the metal struts, which, and I, I gotta say, I much prefer the metal struts, but what I might do is once we start getting um, other domes, once we start putting other domes in, like the medium dome, I might have a bit of a mix like mix and match stuff to try, just to try and make the place look good. Uh, what, I'll tell you now, guys, what I was planning on doing was extending this, having an, another hexagon here and then having another dome up here to exploit these metals up here. And I think we will get to that eventually, but, <clears throat> but we're going to skip that idea and move up to trying to get this done. Now, this is going to provide a bit of a challenge, but it's either I buy another RC Rover and get it shipped here, um, or I put in a drone controller up here. So I, I think we're going to go the drone controller route. So what do I want? I would want some power cables to mark this. So if we put cables around 
like that. We'll just do that for now. Because what I want to do, I want to dig out the concrete. So we'll take out the dome. So a drone hub, where would we put a drone hub? Well, I'm guessing the, the best place for a drone hub is going to be like there, probably. Um, yeah, I'm thinking a drone hub there. Um, how far does that cover us on that side? Take this up there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if we were going to put a drone hub in there, uh, cables wise, one, two, three. So if I do the cables like that, which is the same that I've done them before, we can have some batteries in there, and then we want some solar solar power. Yeah, solar power, I think. So let's get some uh, let's get some solar power laid in. What do we want? We want solar. Um, the thing is, how the hell am I going to get this built? Because my rover's down. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I can still get it done. I can still get it done. Uh, what do I want? I want... Uh, do I go for solar or wind? Let's go, let's go for solar. Let's go for solar up here. So we'd want... Um, there. 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 And... There. And then we have one in the middle. Yeah, that'll do. That's plenty. That's plenty for now. Oh man, this this has thrown a real spanner in the works. Okay, so I'm I'm doing all of this, which is all fine and dandy, um, but the problem is that without my without my actual rover, without my broken rover, that's the hang on, that's the that's the transport. Where's the where's the rover? <laughs> Lost the rover now. Where's the blooming rover? Oh, you're up there. Oh man. Is that, that's not even going to be in range, is it? Nope, it's not going to be in range. Oh, man. Okay, let's, it's okay. It, we can we can still make this work, I think. We'll, um, we'll send this rocket back, I think. Yeah, let's, um, let's send you, uh, we're waiting for three, aren't we? Well, I guess for the sake of this, we can wait for three. Um... I have got no cash though, this is the problem. So, I've got to send this back to get enough cash to get a rover, to buy a rover. Or, um, I just bring a, a rocket with drones and then it can do it. Um, th it's just a question of whether I'm going to be able to land the rocket to cover that and cover this to get this built. Oh, <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. This is a real challenge. What's the range on that? The range is... It's got a fairly decent range on it. Is it going to be able to cover from there to there? I don't know. We land it over here. We might, we might just get it done. Okay. I'm, I don't know. I may have to reposition this, but we can we can figure that out later. It's either that or I just buy a blooming extra rover, which I could. We've done the research on deep scanning, um, which was, I don't know. I don't even know where it was. Uh, we've got uh, Martian aerodynamics. Shuttle speed increased by 33%. That's, uh, that's revealed. We've got nuclear, fission, uh, nuclear fusion. Uh, we've already seen that. Uh, we've got Smart Home, new building, Smart Homes. Smart Homes and Smart Complex provides a very comfortable living space for, for colonists. Uh, we're going to want to do that fairly soon, I would think. Uh, and what have we got down here? That's Martian Paintings, we had that before. Sub a supportive community, we didn't look at this. Lowers the risks, uh, lowers the risk of community, uh, uh, lowers the risk of colonists developing flaws after sanity breakdown. So, yeah, that's probably worth getting. And then this is a... Oh, this is the Science Institute. Generates research faster than a research lab. We definitely want to get that. I'm thinking, we, I'm thinking that is really high priority. So I think we're going to do that even before we do the drone battery. Yeah, let's do that first. Then we'll do that. Uh, okay. Now, let's have a look. How many of these have we made? 
we have got one available drone prefab. So now, if I go to, um, like this one, I can. I get, we've now got this button, construct drone. We've got one available prefab. Cold wave we can approaching. Construct that, and now we've gone from ten drones to eleven drones. So that's how we get more drones going on locally. We've got a cold wave starting in sixteen hours. How are we doing power wise? Power wise, we're looking good. Batteries. Um, we're gonna have to shut some stuff down and prepare for it. Oh yeah, yeah. It is a nightmare. Now, um, now there was a good suggestion, and um, I think it was a good suggestion. You tell me whether you think it's a good suggestion. In fact, I'll, I'll leave this as the last question. We'll, we'll end, end the episode here. The um, what this person was saying was, why don't you build? Where are we? Why don't you build these subsurface heaters? Now, I was worried about the, the, the water consumption. And they were saying, well, why don't you just turn it off and only turn it on when you've got a cold wave? So I think that's probably worth trying. Yeah, I think that's probably worth giving a try. So we'll... Um, I'll get your feedback, though. See what you think. You, t you tell me what you think. Um, in fact, yeah, you tell me what you think about that. Tell me what you think about this idea of getting this base set up up here. Uh, and whether you think uh, it should be an independent base, do you think we should have a tunnel? Do you think I should just run some wiring up here? You tell me, what should we do? And we're gonna have to extend our wiring up and get some, uh, exploit this water up here as well. I think, I am kind of thinking that maybe we'll, maybe we'll run, uh, extend domes up here or something. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm definitely having a, going to have a good think about this between this episode and the next one. And the other thing that I want to do is, before I uh, put this dome in here, is um, exploit this regolith. So we'll get this regolith dug out first. Uh, how many metals have we got sitting here? We've got 28. So I tell you what, before I forget, I'm going to tell you, uh, load up that, that, those metals. Because it's really quick. Boom. And then ship them down here, so that I, at least that's done before the start of the next episode. So there you go, go. Uh, no, not load, unload. There, thank you. All right, guys. Oh my lord. Uh, we will leave it there for this episode. We've got. Cable fault reported. We've got this rocket uh, almost loaded up now. Probably, probably another day to get that full. Then we'll ship it back. We'll buy what we need. Get this out and we'll get a second base going up here. But we should have enough machine parts to either have a tunnel going up there or what I would prefer to do, to be honest, is have a tunnel through here and start unlocking these. Lots of things for you to comment on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a bit of a mess, but, you know, it's going to happen. See, I think you start to see that you've really got to stay on top of everything or um, things can get out of control very, very quickly. Catch you for the next one. Peace out.